facilitate for this welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Assassin. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Center in Newark, New Jersey. I'm told sports gambling is legal here, and we got a good UFC fight that coming. Oh, up. wow. Sports gambling is legal. And, John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You're calling the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, because John and it know how to make money at the sports book. But don't worry. Tonight, we will give you a great fight. Brick City. <laughs> oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. All right, so about a minute into this one, and not much in terms of action, DC. I don't know if you need to use the restroom, but it might be a good time. That thud on the table, that was... Oh, 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 oh. Not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That was in the perfect spot. Big knee there. Well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go with this. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Oh, it looks like a cut has just opened up on his forehead now. It's worked. now back to the leg kick now that one's no good round two is next all right that's the end of the round you see the fighter's got a cut on his lip not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening if you know what I'm talking about but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up so the crowd round we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue on the path. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Looking to land the right just out of range. Back 
to the jab now, no good. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here or what? I am almost certain that he's gonna go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. It's work, guys, come on. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again. You're not taking my money, J.A. Hey, that <laughs> uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's gonna land and land very damaging. tonight and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault a flurry of punches most of them upstairs and when those big shots land repeatedly the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Butcher. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt. 